شوقا إلى المولى أتاني أسلمت روحي للإله بالقرآن اهتديت في رحبه تحلو الحياة شوقا إلى المولى أتيت أسلمت روحي للإله I'm 31 years of age. I reverted to Islam since 2010. I'm currently working as an electronic and electrical engineer in the building services industry. And inshallah, I will be able to travel the world and continue to spread the message of Islam. It started from when I was at school. I was taught a lot in class about black history, mainly regarding slavery and freedom fighters. Um, this was stuff along the lines like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. Um, these, in all respects, are, are great pioneers and alhamdulillah I'm blessed to have such a history and to understand it. So I started reading the Bible directly myself. Even the Quran I started reading where I started to blossom into Islam. But So I was already on my way to Islam without even knowing. And that's why I say sometimes it's funny how you're in the middle of a path or a journey you don't quite know where you're going until you've got there and you can look back on your path to see how you got there. Alhamdulillah, I'm glad I reached. To be honest, the first time and the second time I tried to read the Quran, I was trying to punch holes into it. Um, I read the Bible and the Bible I was able to discredit to a certain extent and I wanted to do the same with the Quran. But um, reading this verse prompted me to try and find some form of text or something around <coughs> which somebody had produced to create an ayat or a single line more beautiful than what had been produced in the Quran. I didn't find it, um, I still haven't found it and I'm no longer looking for it, <laughs> alhamdulillah. We went into the masjid um, and an old sister took my wife to where the sisters pray and as soon as the first time my head touched the ground, I didn't come back up for how long I'm still unsure. I don't know if I was there for two minutes or oh. 10 minutes. I don't know if, if Sammy prayed all four and then finished, I'm not sure. But before I rose back up, I started to weep. I started to cry. And I didn't feel like I was crying. I felt like I was crying from inside. And it felt like somebody was asking me, or Allah was asking me, what, what am I looking for? What is taking me so long? I made my shahada. I felt light. I felt at, at ease and knowing that I had done so much wrong or I had sinned so much in the past and just by saying my shahada that I had shed those, sh those sins and I was now, I was, I was new to start again. Um, it, it felt good and my life since making my shahada has been on a balance. Ashahadu an la ilaha illa Allah I didn't revert straight away. I think it was about a year later that I reverted. Mm. Um, I, my aim was to finish the Quran before I reverted. So I read and I read and I asked questions. I met Osman Idris several weekends. We had met a few people. They tried to give me dawah. Some was good, some was bad, but I'm a very strong minded and I, need, I needed to see it for myself read the book itself. It's to read the Quran and understand it as a whole text rather than individual blocks of text. When you do this, the message of Islam can clearly be misguided and clouded. And this is why nowadays we get a lot of misconceptions about Islam. The Quran means to me is a wholehearted blessing which I've been shined upon. The Quran for me is like a beacon of light which shines in darkness. The Quran for me is something which I read when I'm feeling happy, when I'm feeling sad and when I'm feeling lost. The Quran for me is everything. It is my whole life. It is not just a, a law and it's not just a way of life. The Quran for me is everything.